Hi, and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I give you tips on skincare, detoxing, exercising, and healthy living. If you enjoy contents like this, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. Today I am going to demonstrate how to apply a Jesner's chemical peel. First, what is a Jesner's chemical peel? It is a combination of 14% each of salicylic acid, lactic acid, and resorcinol. Resorcinol is used in acne and skin treatment medication to remove hard, scaly, rough skin and pigmentation. It's a blend of hydroquinone and catechol. This peel is a strong, medium strength peel. It's very powerful. Now, before we get started, you're going to need a few little prompts. I would suggest getting a little fan so that... If it's irritating, you can cool it off. <laughs> um, make sure that you have some gloves and a little medicine uh, cup. So, but I'll be going through all of this again throughout the video. Now, if you have a darker skin tone like me, before using this peel, you need to prepare your skin with a melanin inhibitor for a minimum of two up to six weeks to help avoid hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation. I use Fabrite from Platinum Skin Care. This is a pigment inhibitor that has helped me to avoid any kind of discoloration on my skin. This has alpha arbutin, azelaic acid, kojic acid, and resolvertol. I use it every day, twice a day, morning and night, okay? So it's very important with ethnic skin uh, that you treat your skin, and I'm gonna, that's why I'm saying it again, with a pigment inhibitor. So make sure that you get one, you use it two weeks to up to six weeks, you know, the longer the better. Now, it is important, is very, very important, uh, not to use any kind of scrubbing abrasives within the last week uh, before you do this peel. Also, do not perform other treatments such as dermaplaning, microneedling, laser treatments. At the same time, that you're gonna be doing this peel, okay? Also, stop using your Retin-A or Retinoid one week prior to applying this chemical peel to avoid extreme irritation, okay? And always drink a glass of water to keep hydrated before and after applying your peel because salicylic and Jesners are very, very dry, okay? Please do your homework if this is the first time that you are applying any kind of home peel. There's so many videos out there. Platinum Skin Care, those are the products that I'm using. They have excellent videos um, showing you how to use their products. Um, I'm actually in one of those videos uh, that they're using for ethnic skin doing a TCA peel. So just do your homework, okay, before you get started and ask me any questions, comment below if you have any questions and I will try to answer them as best and accurate as possible. Let's get started with prepping the skin. First, I'm going to add my gauze into the solution. I just use a small medicine cup to pour it in. So this is the Jesner's. You can get this in vials. Um, you get like six of these. They last a very, very long time. You, you, you can use this about three times. <laughs> and, or you can get a bottle, I believe it's two ounces. Um, but I like my little vials. I might try the two ounces, but uh, that this is what I use right now. So basically, I just pour it in there. So while this is soaking, I'm going to go wash uh, my face. I love to use... 
the AB Cleanser with Glycolic Salicylic Acid from uh, Platinum Skin Care. And uh, it is just excellent for your skin. I mean, it has glycolic and salicylic acid. So very nice, smooth, leaves your skin very clean. So this is what I'm going to go do. I'll be right back. I will make sure that my face is dry and then I'm going to apply the peel prep solution. Um, I'm going to apply this all over the areas that I'm going to um, put my Jesner peel on. Why do you have to do this? This is to defect the skin and to avoid uneven solution penetration uh, due to having a greasy face. But, you know, if you don't have the peel prep solution, you can use 90% alcohol. So I am putting this down my neck because this is, I'm going to do all this area and my decolletage. I'm going to make sure we're good. So now I'm just going to wait a little bit and I am going to let this dry. It dries up quickly. I'll be right back. So as you see, I'm going down my neck, my face. I'm going to hit all the areas. Oh, going down. Where he knows I have breakouts. All over here on my chin and then here on the side. Here. All harmonial. So. Oh, and going down my neck into my decolletage. So now I'm going to wait. Uh, five minutes and then I'm going to do another layer. I'm actually going to do three layers of this peel. So I'll be right back. Now I am going to go in with my second um, swipe. Make sure you squeeze out. You know you want to leave it wet but not that dripping wet, okay? It's very important. It's very important to get a good peel from this to do that. A nice, even toned peel. Now, I am going to do this again. Go from my forehead all the way down my face. And around and Hitting all the areas and I have a mirror right here I'm looking to make sure that I am hitting all of my spots okay and you could feel it on your face as well mm-hmm target those 11s and we're gonna go down the neck and I still have enough solution to go down my decolletage so I am feeling uh, some burn. <laughs> it feels like, yeah, like a little sunburn or something, you know. But when you're not used to it, it can be really intense. So just have a fan with you. Or this, you could take your manual, use it as a fan, double it up there. Okay? You don't have a little fan. Oh, it cools it off right away. Okay, I'll be back and five minutes have passed and now I am going to go in with my third application so I'm going to squeeze it make sure it's still wet but not dripping okay so here we go forehead Going down, so as you see, I really did not get a frost. Um, with the Jesners, uh, you sometimes you just don't get a frost. Um, Sometimes when you do have a, you see a frost, it's probably the salicylic acid that's crystallizing. So when you wet your face or 
uh, put uh, serum on, it'll disappear. So, but I completed uh, three layers of the Jesner's uh, peel, and it wasn't that bad. I have to say the TCA, I think to me, is stronger. So, I think that's going to be my next uh, try of the Jesner plus TCA peel. So now, um, because I'm doing this at night, uh, I'm going to immediately go in with my dream peel. So this is the dream peel. And the dream peel is a very high dose of vitamin A that will help to speed up the uh, peeling process. You only use this once. So you put it right after the peel, which I'm going to do right now. So here it is. And I am going to ooh, love this. Let me tell you, it smells so good. I always say this, but it, it really is. Um, so you're going to need two pumps for your face, neck, and decolletage because I want to put it on here. I did not rinse off the Jesners. I'm going to keep it on. If you are doing this um, during the day, then you can leave the solution on for about four hours, then rinse it and add your dream peel. And most importantly, make sure that you use an SPF. So your peeling starts probably around the third to fourth day even faster if you use the uh, dream peel, okay? This really does speed up the uh, peeling process. Um, I also like to use my antioxidant enzyme peel like around on the fifth day. Let me get that for you. So this is it right here. This is my enzyme peel. Um, like I said, probably around the fifth day and this helps to remove any kind of dead skin that you may have. And that is it. So if you prep your skin, follow your manual instructions, uh, you will get an excellent peel, okay? Just do your homework and I will update you on my peel uh, daily until I fully um, have completed the entire peeling process. So let me know if you have used Jesner's or any other peel that have or have not worked for you. Leave your comments uh, below. As always, links will be in the description box for all of your products. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell to be alerted when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.